It's 2012, people. Foot Locker beat Avatar. There's no McG. Who's McG? Charlie's Angels. The TV show? You don't know what I'm talking about, Ivor? I don't know what I'm talking about, Ivor. You don't know, because it's 2012. Terminator Salvation is done, and I'm not memorable now by most people, other than me, who read Wikipedia. Also, RPM is still memorable for the most memorable... My Disney, not only Disney, but out of all, I would say out of all the Power Rangers series ever, RPM is the most memorable. It was very pop culture-y, it was very brilliantly written, it had, it had characters that had to deal with a horrible war and lose characters that they loved, it had a main character that was not the Red Ranger, it had a lot of things that were going for it that was very distinct, unlike in GoBuster where it just doesn't seem to be that well written. Compared to like other medium, it does not seem to be as grand or of a follow-up as Mary Mad Ranger was to Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings, with actors with great chemistry, great role models, and representatives of the brand. Great writing and great acting, that were really natural and remind me of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I do not see the chemistry of the Ghostbusters. They're not friends, but they're definitely not. Not making a cult to not be friends like Akashi and Masumi and Bokenger, or Time Red and Time Fire and Time Ranger, because they're different ideologies, Machiavellian or background based. It's not a very dark or realistic show. RPM was the ultimate evolution of Power Rangers. Ghostbuster was definitely a distinct show, but it's not, let's say, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Star Wars, Blade Runner, Superman. Batman, Batman Begins, Inception, W, O's, Battlestar Galactica, Terminator, the Sarah, Sarah, Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. This is what I get for doing it in one take. Ghost in the Shell, Cowboy Bebop, Beast Wars, Go Ranger, Live Man, Jet Man, Zoo Ranger, Wokenger, Shinkenger, etc. I don't think Ghostbusters is going to be really memorable compared to, at least other than the scenery and the ideas that didn't really come through, and it's not going to be very memorable. I think it's going to be a very unremarkable start to the new Super Super Sentai that they've been marketing. RPM had great characters and chemistry. Great characters and chemistry. Three TV tropes. Ghostbusters characters are written very subtle, and it's not in like a goal. Gary Oldman, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy kind of way. They don't seem very th thought out. Hiromu is a teenager who gets frozen when he looks at chickens with some storyline about looking after others even in the beginning. He doesn't look like they're on the same team. When was that in RPM? They had powers, not weaknesses. It does not add anything to the show. Scott was definitely the leader, but he did not make his way to stand out. It was a very subtle, distinct, well-acted display by Echo Darvel's part. The rest were just sp spy team members and nothing hardly distinct happens to them. It's not like the opening to Go Ranger, you know, where like they survived like a horrible, like they were the last ones of their country or state or town or whatever it was that survived a massacre by the Black Cross Fuhrer. This, the only thing that was pro possibly comparable to how subtle and well written these characters are in reminds me of uh, Geki Ranger and probably maybe Go Andrew also. And I don't really like those shows too much either.